Right, I'll start this again because the, the last one was pretty poor. But you can see what I'm trying to do here. So what we've got here, let me just show you. I'll put a metal strip in place. See, now this is quite thin and it's deliberate so that it bends easy. It's under tension. That'll be welded onto there, sort of like there. And this end will be welded like that. You see? Go on, that's it. So as this... Let me just put that down. So this obviously fastens up onto there, and that's suspended on this, right? And the other one is fastened down there, right? And as this, oh, it's stammering again. As this bar twists round, obviously the ends will pull, and it'll pull that round, which means the vehicle will move. And you can see it's moving when I pull that, right? But I messed up. I mean, you know, that's nice and strongly welded on, but the holes are in the wrong place, and the nuts are too close. You see. I machined it, you can't see because of the light, All right? and I've got three of the bolts in but the fourth one won't go in. And I drew because it's difficult because you have to, I kind of need a pattern to do it. Anyway, and what I did is drill the, the holes and they were in the wrong place when I put them on. So I had to use the uh, big bertha here to uh, machine the holes out. You know. And it, it did its job, and when I put the plate on it was okay, but now I can't fasten it on because it's basically, it's too close. So, I don't know. Uh, but I've got another design, another slide mechanism design. But, uh, the problem is, is that it actually needs a bigger gap. So that means I might have to actually take that shaft off. The one which I very accurately welded on. Oh, this is becoming a nightmare. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. It's getting a bit poo, isn't it? Oh, well. We'll see. I can well see me cutting the whole lot off and doing it a different way. Because <laughs> there's something else I spotted. <coughs> which I'd forgotten.